they're not boxes they're like what are they called they're not triangles oh my god rectangles they're rectangles god i love me a math queen hi guys my name is Sally. my videos whenever i feel like it and today i felt like it because um i come bearing gifts and by gifts i mean stationery before we get into the video however i would like to make a little disclaimer um i'm not one for these haul videos or like things you must buy videos because i'm uh pretty much against consumerism and capitalism as much as i can i guess like you also have to find a balance some people can really go zero waste and i commend them so much and i think they're so inspirational um but you know, some people just gotta make do with what they got. I also wanted to bring up the topic of money because I have spent the past few days watching stationary hauls and they're all very excessive, I would like to say. Not only is everything like wrapped in plastic and pens and highlighters and everything else is also made of plastic um, and that's not great, but it's also like these people, and not to judge, because these people usually have pen pals or they bullet journal and they take it very seriously. It's also sometimes their job because it's on YouTube and I completely understand that, but being real with you, this is going to be a actual like essential video. A lot of the stuff are super cheap and I'm gonna be like explaining the prices to you. Just go with the bare necessities because I am in college and I can honestly say that I've gone through a whole year where I literally only had my laptop, an agenda, a notebook, and like one single black pen. And I would recommend actually like going through the year and then buying as you go, rather than going in the beginning of the year. Um, because I'm entering my third year of university, I can tell you now with my experience what I actually need and that's why I think this video can be helpful for you. Okay. So I bought a few things and my father also bought me a few things in Korea. I went to um, Muji, which is a Japanese store, but they have in Hong Kong where I'm staying at right now. Um, I also went to a super duper cheap place in Wan Chai. Uh, Wan Chai is near Central if you're in Hong Kong. So I'm gonna start with pouches. Yeah, I bought these. These are self standing TPU pouches and they're in the color white. They also come in black. Uh, the reason why I love them is because you can squish them. So when you put them in your bag, they don't take up a lot of space. And once you squish things in your bag, things can get ugly. And because this is so shapeless, this won't. I bought one of the small ones and I wanted to put makeup in it. I don't really bring any touch up makeup. I just usually bring like blotting paper and the lipstick that I'm wearing that day. Uh, the issue is that sometimes I don't take the lipstick back out at the end of the day, so I have like a whole pool of lipstick in my like backpack pocket, which is completely unnecessary um, and also very disorganized and I end up like being confused as to which lipstick is in which bag. So now that I have this pouch, I can just put them in here and if I need to find a lipstick, I can just make sure that I checked this before I go crying because I've lost something or I think I've lost something. The next TPU pouch, I bought two of these smaller ones, um, is for my post-it notes. Uh, I'll do another section of post-it notes, but I love them. I love them too much, some might say. They're like the perfect size for them. Yeah, that's really it. I don't really have another logic for it. And then I bought a bigger one. Right now it just has my pens in it, but I think I might transfer my pen to another one and I'm gonna put my charger and my, um, hard drive <laughs> in this one. Yeah, my like tech stuff that I bring to school and I thought ahead, so that's why I bought like another um, pouch or pencil case or whatever. And this one is just the simple pen case, I guess. This one was also 45 did I mention that already? It has two zippers. We love a zipper queen. I thought I was gonna put my makeup in here, like I could put makeup stuff here for travel, you know what I mean? And then I can put my brushes in here because I'm so tired of just having a pile of brushes mixing with my makeup when I look for things. And this opens pretty wide. So I think I might do that when I'm traveling, otherwise I'll put my pens in here. Next, I bought some files. Unfortunately, I don't know how much the Korean things cost, but I'm pretty sure they were also pretty cheap. I bought two files on my own. These I bought in one type. 
And then I got this one from Korea. The great thing about this is that it's one of those where you can just put the paper in there so you don't need to punch a hole. Basically, when you're in college, you need one of these. I have another one that you can like unlock from one giant. It's just a simple white one with white stripes. No, it's clear with white stripes. Wow. I have these because I found that sometimes professors still give you like loose papers. Sometimes they'll print out like assignment um, details or instructions on paper for you and you want them undamaged you want them clean and you want them uncrumpled uh, which I have not had in the past because I just sort of like folded them and shoved them in my notebook and hoped for the best so these will prevent the folding crumpling and damaging hopefully just buy one you really don't need to I bought two because I still have a lot of like loose papers of past assignments, so I knew I was gonna need to organize both back home and on campus anyway. And then I have one of these, and this is a fresh display book with 30 pockets. I bought them for my syllabi. In the past, I have not printed my syllabi. I have had it as a PDF document on my laptop, and it has worked fine, except for the fact that I constantly had to like open it and download it and find it on my computer and people name it different things. I found that like printing your syllabi in the beginning of the year, bringing it to your first week of classes where they will explain the syllabi to you and then highlighting what you need to remember is actually the best way because then you have just one hard copy for reference. I know it's not great for the environment to print, I know, but like if you're gonna print anything, at least print your syllabus. Like you don't even need to include the classes and topics and things you need to read, just include the part where they talk about the assignments and deadlines and stuff like that. Next is notebooks. Love them, can't live without them. This one has little a peach, not a little peach. I guess a peach is the name. I think they're like wine friends or like kakao, oh but they're kakao friends. Kakao talk is a, an app over here. I turned the smaller one with the hard ASMR uh, cover into a kind of a bullet journal. It's not actually bulleted, it's just, they're just lines. Um, but I put in a, a few things that I learned from Caitlin's Corner, I believe. She's on YouTube and she bullet journals. And I also made a few of my own templates. Just things that I know I've needed and have discovered that I actually sort of wish was in my um, agenda, which I already have, um, but it doesn't have all these things that I keep here. So I made it myself because I'm an independent woman who doesn't need a stationary company to assist me in my educational pursuits. And then I have this one, and it's another lined one. And look at this, the peach in the back looks like a butt. I don't know if my father was aware of it, but I appreciate it. It has some math uh, um, formulas, I assume. I wouldn't know. I study arts and culture and have not touched math in about three years. So I have absolutely no idea what this means. I would use it for writing notes. <laughs> wow. Uh, but for like exams, you know when you do reviews, which is like what you can also do with this one. Oh wait, crap, wait a second. This is a notebook. I am a liar. Also, these things are still in their packaging because I'm traveling back to the Netherlands. So I'm sorry about the excess plastic. But hello, this is a folder. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't include that before, but now basically I can bring my syllabus to school and have it at home. Or like, you know, whatever you need. The next sort of notebooky thing that I got is a monthly planner. Woo! This is a desk planner, if you're unfamiliar with the concept. You don't like this around, you could. I wouldn't judge you if I saw you taking this out on campus. Basically, it just has like every day of the month, but in tiny boxes. I have a weekly agenda, which is what I bring to school, and that has like every day of the week. So this is where you put in the important dates, like due dates, study dates, uh, dates, if you're a non-single person, unlike me. Um, otherwise, if you're against the whole paper thing, you also have a monthly planner, both on your phone and on your laptop, or your iPad, or whatever device you own. And the next thing is not a notebook, but it is, a notebook filler. I got this from Muji. The reason why I chose Muji instead of just like any other brand is because I found that they have 
the best kind of paper. My pens and my pencils glide on them and it's a dream. Also, these are squares instead of lines because I find that it just looks better. It controls the size of my lettering. I am left-handed and it's actually quite difficult to write. I have scoliosis because of the way I write because I've been like a snake when I write. It's a whole thing. You just need one pack and this will last you for probably two years if you only use it for like studying in minor notes. I don't use it for every class. I usually type it on Google Docs because it saves automatically. We're gonna go with miscellaneous items first before we got into the post-it notes and the pens, which I'm sure you all are very excited about. I got a tape corrector. This was literally $4, four Hong Kong dollars. That's about 40 cents. Is it? Yeah, that's about 40 cents. That's about 40 euro cents. The next thing I got is two packs of stapless, staple, Stapler inserts! Wow! They're for the mini, mini staplers that you can carry in your bag. Muji sells them, they come in white, but I bought a pink one when I was in Japan. I don't know the brand anymore. The next miscellaneous item also comes from Muji. This is a card holder. I just have a smaller wallet that can only carry um, like three cards and then a little zipper pocket. But I do have a lot of membership cards when you're in the Netherlands. Uh, I don't know if it's the same in every other country, but like, it's just better because you get the discounts uh, and we're cheap people, we're stingy. So I would put those in here because you don't need it on you all the time, but it would be nice to carry. All right, since like post-it notes are a fan favor, I guess I'll go with that first. I do have two post-it notes from the band Post-it. Uh, these are bought in Korea and they're the Lion Friends. So we have Kakao Friends and then we have the Lion Friends and their Lion is also a chatting app. It's like, woo, their WhatsApp. This is Koya, it's a koala, and this is Tata. Tata? Tata? Tata. And this is a heart. <laughs> One from Muji that I bought. This is translucent sticky notes. I realized that like colored sticky notes will basically stop you from highlighting because the colors won't translate as well. And this is also a white sticky note. This one is $5. This one has like a cute little text box shape. I like how plain it is because then you can actually write things on it. I mean, I realize that like cute sticky notes are all the rage in the study blur community, but honestly, what are you actually gonna write in there? I also bought some cuter sticky notes. Don't come for me yet. These are cacao friends. They come in three things and it's great because even the pattern ones is like has a low opacity of color and lines so that means when you write you can actually see it. I also got this sticky note. Pretty, beautiful pastel colors. Tiny. That's why I bought them. I don't know what they're called but they're this. Okay, basically it will tell you where you gotta study or read or what you have read or uh, what is in a page. This is great. I went through a lot of these when I was studying art history because our textbooks were gigantor. This just helps you color coordinate everything based on like whatever you need. I also got these two things, both from Muji. This one is a checklist sticky note. Yeah, that's great. That's a, like a to-do list thing. And then there's different colors, there's three. So you can color coordinate and categorize. I love categorizing things. You can just stick it in your notebook, you can stick it in your agenda, you can stick it wherever you need to stick it. Even on your wall, if need be. Because sometimes it's better to remember when it's like staring at you right in the face while you're working or sleeping or whatever. And then I also got this. Uh, you may be wondering why the hell I need pre-made rectangles. Basically, when I saw it, I immediately thought about studying for exams. You've heard of cue cards? those things, I'm not a very big fan of them. It's like tiny little cutout things that you need to keep track of. I hate that, I hate organizing that. This just comes in one long piece of paper. So that means you can write per slide what you need to say during a presentation. You can write per unit what you need to remember, a little summary. That's so smart, I'm a genius. Thank you, Muji. Next is pens. This one is a Echo Friends highlighter. And this is a pen clicker highlighter. Yeah, that's right. We are blessed up in this. I love it because you don't have a cap. You don't have a cap. You just, and you don't need to make sure that little plastic thing is on top of it or in your other hand or not falling everywhere while you're flustered in the library. You just click, my dude. But then I also bought myself 
other highlighters, which like, I'm sorry about, to like reduce the confusion and reduce the waste by things that are double-ended, uh, like this. These highlighters, one is three Hong Kong dollars. That's 30 cents. <laughs> and it has two ends, so that means it's got two uses. One is a highlighter end, and the other is a like fine tip pen end, which is great because then you get to write notes while highlighting them. Other highlighter pens that I bought, uh, which weren't a mistake because they're different colors, they're a bit more pastel-y than the other ones, but honestly, you don't need this. I wanted them because they were even smaller fine tips than the other ones, so I can really use this when I'm like bullet journaling. And then I bought Sarasa pens. They are beautiful Japanese, I believe. Pens. They're the Zebra Sarasa Clip 0.5. I bought colors. I bought a blue one. One, I like to do my exams in blue. Two, I read somewhere that blue makes you uh, remember what you write better rather than black. And then I bought like a darker orange that actually shows up. They have a lighter one that doesn't. And then like a turquoise, I suppose blue green as it says here and like a magenta and they will buy one get one free for two i guess then is nine hong kong dollars that's a euro a euro for two god <laughs> i love this country and then the final pen thing that i got is erasable magic gel ink pens they were from muji they're a little bit pricier they're 68 but they come in six I don't know how to count, so you figure out. They're like $10 each. They're like a euro, a little bit more than a euro each. They're erasable, which is super great, especially when you bullet journal and you make mistakes, uh, which I do a lot. Honestly, you don't need the Sarasa pens. You can just do this, uh, or you can choose either or. But because they're erasable, they're different to me. As I said, there are a lot of things that you don't need to buy. There are a lot of things that you can substitute with things you already have. Um, your highlighters don't need to be cute in order for them to be usable. A lot of the times you have like free highlighters that are just laying around. Use them, you know? Old files that your parents probably used for like old documents that they don't need anymore. You just need things that work. Um, and yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and a little bit, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing. I still want to be cute even though I'm conscious about my buyings and spendings. That's all for me. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. I'm exhausted from talking about stationery, so I'm gonna go. Alright, bye! Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm just, I don't even want to get up to like turn off the camera, you know?